Welcome to Mega Arena. The competition is underway. Everyone's gunning hard for the Astrum. I haven't seen you before. Is this your first time here? Want to give it a shot? All the competitors here are the best of the best. But if you're interested in betting, that's reserved for regulars. Sorry, rules are rules. Glad to see another competitor. Please see Digsby, the arena manager. He'll make the necessary arrangements. This is Mega Arena. If you're not competing, then watch by the stands. A new contestant? Digsby's busy. I'm in charge today. Rules? I'll just tell you the most important one, because I hate chit-chat. Anything goes, just don't kill anyone. There's also something about no private fights. Eh, can't remember. You do you. I'll give any rule breakers something to remember. You got that? That's it. A new round is about to start. Come check it out. That one over there with the dual blades is a rookie. Just like you. She's up against a veteran called Meepo, who isn't actually that good.
That one over there with the dual blades is a rookie, just like you. <sighs> Itching for a fight? Get ready, because you're next. Your opponent is the winner of this match, and it looks like it's gonna be Katie. Do your best, rookie. Contestant from Astra is your winner! Not bad. I thought you were an amateur. Guess I was wrong. Your next opponent is Max. He's won a few times before. He's pretty popular. You want to talk to him? You can find him in the stands before the match. Stop looking around. I'm Max, your next opponent. Hey, what's with that look? I don't care who you are or where you're from. Be ready to beg for mercy. How about that? I like your attitude. Maybe I won't mess you up too badly.
Want me to take care of it for you? Want me to take care of it for you? Want me to take care of it? Want me to take care of it for you? I can sense a looming threat. <laughs> Is it time to start a fun and relaxing adventure? Think before you act. I like um MSEC 2000. Head my ears! Go on! Do you need my help? What? A Need my help? Boosting pack. I'm looking. You're looking ready. I'm Echo, and I'm an adventurer that wants to travel the whole- Hello, I'm Hilda. It- Greetings. Nice- Nice to meet you. I'm Param- Want me to take care of it? Are we starting a new journey? Medical unit is ready. Please look forward to my- Want me to take care of it for you? Do you need my help? Won the semi-final too, huh? Good work. But the final match is gonna be difficult. It's a three-way brawl, and the last one standing wins. But today's not your day. Your opponents are the Brutal Brothers. They've got a trick or two up their sleeves. They'll work together to eliminate the third contestant, to make sure that one of them wins. I hate to say this, but it's a long shot for you. You can talk to them before the match, but I'm warning you, don't start anything. <laughs> You're up against us in the next round. Too bad. Prize is ours. <laughs> I'm gonna win it again this time, and be the triple champion. You get it? It's mine. 
up against us in the finals? The Brutal Brothers are gonna chew you up! What? Gordon still wants to win again? It's my turn, he promised! How dare he double-cross me! I'll deal with him after I'm done with you! Just you wait! Championship on your first try. That's really something. I would love to fight you. Oh, almost forgot. Here's your prize, the Astrum. All yours. It'll fetch a good price out there. That's it for today. My work is done, and I'm out of here. Congratulations on the victory. Franz is waiting for us at the Omnium Tower. We should get this to him quickly. We have the Astra. Whew. That was fast. And here I thought you'd have trouble getting it. Now we just need to link it up with the Omnium Tower's control station and activate the cooling system. We've already quieted the tower down. But that was only the first step. The heirs of Ida are still lurking in the shadows. Shutting down the other four towers won't be that easy. You and Mia should go back to the shelter and say your goodbyes. Banj's Omnium Tower is the closest from here. I'll do some recon on it.
friends told us everything. You're headed to Banja's port, right? I know you're working for Hykros now, but you'll always be one of us. Zeke only did it because he had no choice. I just want to see him and Shirley back safe again. Sorry, I left you with the toughest job. We can't possibly repay you for everything you've done for the shelter. This thing with Zeke, it's in your hands now. I will find them, I promise. Follow the Blue Creek downstream to reach Banja's dock. Be careful. On here. The hyenas are at it again. I need to help that person. moves. Thanks. Are you all right? I'm fine, thanks to you two. Those pests are getting bolder. To think they've come so close to the port. Hey, congrats. Huh? What for? The bounty for the White Lightning. It was personally issued by President Colador. Searching database. Still no results for Co Colador. President of Banjus Industries. That doesn't ring any bells? Search complete. Colador, President of Banjus Industries. We can ask him about the area's Omnium Tower. So you're not here for the bounty? Ah, then you must be here for the Grace Day Festival, right? If that's the case, then you're out of luck. There probably isn't much to see this year. Why is that? I've been here all day, and I haven't caught sight of any merchant ships entering the port. Just last year, it was packed around this time. Did something happen here? Probably the bandits. They've been real active recently, and must have scared the merchants off. I wonder when President Colador is gonna do something about it. 
Come on, it's not safe here. Let's get back to the port. By the way, we're from Astra. This is Mia. We're actually looking for someone who might have been here recently. Zeke from Astra? Can't say I've seen him. There are a lot of new faces around town because of the festival. It's gonna be hard to find him, I'm afraid. But I can tell my friends to keep a lookout for him. The more eyes, the better. Come, follow me. Time no see, Hilda. Theo? Why are you out here without your bodyguard? What if your illness acts up? <coughs> I've been inside for too long. I need some fresh air. Don't worry. I always have my meds with me. You're the heir to Banjis. You can't afford to be so careless. You won't hear the end of it if Mr. Colador finds out. Father, he's been up to his neck something important lately. Barely even has enough time to see me. Oh, is Mr. Colador busy now? I was actually hoping to get some help from him. <coughs> oh, can I be of any help? Not for me, but for my new friends here from Astra. They're looking for a man called Zeke. By the way, I got attacked by white lightning on the beach. Luckily, my new friends were there to save me. Hello, I'm a friend of Zeke's. He may have been here recently. I'm Theo, a friend of Hilda's. A pleasure to meet you. Theo's dad, Mr. Colador, is the president of Banjus Industries. If anyone here could find Zeke, it'd be him. <coughs> I'll go talk to my father. If your friend is indeed here, we will find him. Theo, how many times have I told you, you need to inform me before going out, and never alone by yourself. Hurry along back. The doctor's still waiting to do your routine checkup. If everything's fine, you can still go to the festival tonight. Only if the doctor says you're fine, and this is... This is my new friend from Astra. Nice to meet you, President Colador. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Colador. As you can see, I'm very worried about my son's condition. Please look after him when you're together. Father, they saved Hilda from White Lightning. About the bounty you put out earlier. 
Oh, you defeated White Lightning? <laughs> Young people these days truly surprise me. I don't have the reward with me right now, but don't worry. I'll send my people to contact you later. How about this? As a token of gratitude and repayment, I'll give you our newest product, the latest combat support system. It can be installed in all types of weapons and analyze combat data on the fly to help you find the opponent's weaknesses. It's a new development, and we're looking for testers. You seem like a good candidate. Father, one more thing. We're actually looking. All right, Theo, that's enough for now. I have some things to attend to. Let's talk again tonight, okay? Yes, Father. Hilda, about President Colador. Ah, Mr. Colador is a good person, but he can be quite stern at times. But I guess that's to be expected for someone in his position. Don't worry, Theo will talk to Mr. Colador about finding your friend. The Grace Day Festival is tonight. Maybe the one you're looking for will show up there. Speaking of which, what exactly is Grace Day? Well, Bandus began as just a small remote settlement and life was tough. One year, there was a famine caused by pests and attacks from monsters that almost wiped everything out. By some good graces, eventually, a merchant ship stocked with food docked here and saved everyone. That day then became Grace Day. And, as you must have guessed, that merchant is Mr. Colador. Everything we have in Banjus is literally owed to him. It looks like you really worship Mr. Colador. Of course, and there are lots of stories about him. Let me tell you all about them.
It's really late. Time passes so fast. Because you've been talking non-stop. <laughs> I know I tend to get like that sometimes. <laughs> hey, you're still looking for your friend, aren't you? I'll take you to my friends. Come. Hey, Hilda. Long time no see. Hey, Kelly. How's business? Why? You want your old job back? Huh? I thought you don't like me eating the merchandise on the job. I'm not saying you can't have some, but you do have to do your job first. <laughs> Stop giggling like a fool. So, what brings you here today? A small favor. We're looking for someone called Zeke. If you saw him... Sounds like a handsome young man. Could this Zeke be... you know? Huh? No, not at all. I better keep this from Harry, so I don't break his heart. My poor brother. I told you no! And what does Harry have to do with anything? By the way, where is he? Harry is no kid anymore, so he's in charge of his own shop this year. He should be right below. By himself? That crybaby? You sure that's a good idea? Can't disagree with you there. Well, can you drop by and check on him for me? I'm too busy to go myself. All right, I'll take care of that while you keep an eye out for Zeke. Of course. Here, two fried chicken meals for you, on the house. Uh, Hilda? Is that really you? Huh? Harry the Crybaby? Kelly is worried about you, so she sent me here. Look at you, frowning. What happened? I... I'm not frowning. Nothing happened. Just that there are too many things to do. A new shipment came, but I don't have time to pick it up. There's still a crate of cargo at the port. Are you slacking off again? The shipment came in yesterday. But I can't do it alone. Hilda, <laughs> can you please, please? Hold on right there. I'm not cleaning up after you. No way. Hilda, I can go fetch the cargo. But about Zeke... Oh, fine. It's a fair deal, and Harry can't complain about me bullying him again. Just drop the cargo off at the front of the store. Hey, crybaby, you better thank us for being so nice. I, I'm not a crybaby. I'm not a baby anymore.
Are you hungry? Should I catch some fish? Thank <laughs> you. 
done already? Thank you so much. Piece of cake. Where did Hilda go? Info. Hilda went to the port to respond to a request for help. The helping request was issued by a girl called Anne's... <laughs> Anne's balloon got caught on a streetlight. How long has she been gone? It was just now, about half a minute. You should be able to catch up to her. to reach the balloon up there. You got some moves. Can you help? Leave it to me. 